So, Joel, what are you going to do for today's video? A building challenge? Hmm, good suggestion, Lizzie, but it doesn't really inflate my ego. How about Kingdom Craft? <sighs> well, I'm not really the main villain anymore, and it's affecting my ego. Okay, how about a video dedicated to you? You make your own Minecraft dimension, except everything in the dimension is related to you. It's completely ego boosting. Ah, sounds perfect. So yes, I'm gonna spend 10 hours building a dimension for myself because I'm very important and you should all prove that by subscribing. Wink. Now a task like this needs some serious planning. Time to put my thinking cap on. Now for my dimension, the first thing we're going to need are some biomes and I've made three biomes. We've got Joel Swamp, the Birch Boy biome, and the Magical Meadow. And for each biome, we're gonna need structures. So in Joel Swamp, we're gonna have the Swampy Village and Shrek's Toilet. In the Birch Boy biome, we're gonna have the Evil Chicken Lair and a modded house. And in the Magical Meadow, we're gonna have the Wizard's Tower and the Lady of the Lake with a twist. LD Shadow Lady of the Lake. But before we add these structures, we need to know the terrain of these biomes. Joel's Swamp will be quite flat. The Birch Boy biome, also quite flat. But the Magical Meadow will be kind of lumpy and bumpy. Ah, I can finally take my thinking cap off as we are going to start. And we're gonna start by building the three biomes. Now I started off in a super flat world, but a super flat world only has three layers of dirt and then it's bedrock. So I decided to destroy all that and then build it up myself with this mossy cobblestone here, which I thought looked nice, as you can see by my reaction here. Oh, that looks nice. And then I added on some grass. RIP to all the animals that were below here. They are all now dead, but a chicken died. So all the other animal sacrifice made it worth it. So we've got quite a lot of space up here, as you can see. And I know it's not super high up. We actually haven't got much space underground still, but I didn't want to go too crazy as I'm not going to be adding in like a cave system or anything like that. They would just generate naturally if this was an actual dimension. And we're going to start over here with Joel's Swamp. So luckily I'm using a mod which I can make dark green grass to distinguish the difference between the swamp biome and the other biomes. And I also realized that edge looks really ugly. So I thought let's add in some like mountains on the outside just to separate it from the outside world. And it obviously works because you can't see the outside world. Kind of like me every day. I never see the outside world. I'm always in my house playing Minecraft and building. I, I spend way too much time on this game. Now this is your average swampy tree in vanilla Minecraft. And I think this is boring. We also have this willow tree from the Biomes of Plenty mod, which is less boring, but still kind of boring. So instead we're going to make our own trees. So I've made a small swampy tree like this. Some basic roots, nothing too crazy. Small. I've also made a bigger swampy tree like this. Some crazier roots, but still not that crazy. Bigger. And I've also made a third tree here, which is like sort of a hanging willow type tree, which is also not that crazy. I don't know why you'd think they'd be crazy. They're just trees. Speaking of which, if you've got a spare dollar, turn that into a tree at teamtrees.org. Have you seen trees? They grow big. That dollar could make a big tree and trees are cool. So now we have our three types of trees for this little biome. Let's go place them around. So I copied and pasted all these trees around one at a time, but I realized I hadn't actually done any terraining. It was still all flat ground. And this is the point I realized I messed up. Oh no, I messed up. So as you can see, I was distraught, but how was I going to fix this problem? I'll tell you how, with difficulty. So I'm gonna do a little bit with some world edit brushes and just dig out some holes around like this. And also, if I use the game rule, random tick speed command and put it up really high, the grass grows back nice and quick. Look at that, lovely. So I'm gonna do a few of these around. So that's made it look a little bit better, but we need to build up the terrain as well. And the way we're gonna do this is we'll place some blocks around like this in random places. And then we can use a brush again, add on some bits of grass around. You can go one higher on this bit. Wow, crazy. And there you go. You can see it makes a huge difference. Just adding those slight level up bits there really makes it look more like a biome and not just a flat world that I've changed. And you're thinking now, Joel, let's add some structures. No, we need to add water. So I started off by using some liquid from the chromatic foliage mod to make these little green pools of liquid here, greeny water. And then I just used regular old water to fill in some of the holes we made earlier. And then I added in some more swampy type area using some world edit, which I think made it look pretty cool. 
And then finally, we added in some lily pads as well to give it a very swampy vibe. And now that's all added in, we can finally start on adding the structures. Let's start with the village. I decided to change it up and go for stone houses with wooden roofs rather than wooden houses and stone roofs like we have in vanilla Minecraft. Start off by building this little cottage house here, which is very cute, and then adding a little pumpkin farm in. And on the right there, you can see me adding a little underground house for a change it up slightly. And then we added a blacksmith because every village needs a blacksmith. It's the most important part of the village. And then we finished it up by adding in a temple as well as a well. Hey, I said well twice. And there you go, a small little village. The well, the temple, the little cottage house here, our pumpkin farm, our blacksmith, and our underground bunker house thing. I'm not sure what it is. Time for our second structure, which is of course Shrek's toilet, which is a mini dungeon in the swamp. It's not a massive dungeon, it's not a serious dungeon, it's a mini dungeon, okay? And I wanted it to have a working door so I couldn't have the infamous moon door, unfortunately. So instead, we just got this old boring pile one. It's kind of got a hole in a similar place though and yeah it's nice and overgrown. Also I sort of added in all the grass and stuff in the area plus some vines on the trees and it now looks a lot more like a swamp. Very overgrown, very lovely. So it looks like a proper biome now. Lots of vines everywhere as well. Really liking how this is all looking now. And here is the toilet. Got to walk up some steps to get to it and then when you head inside you come down into a little mini dungeon here where zombies will spawn in. This is a zombie spawner. Got a chest chest over here and there's like this brown murky water over here. Nothing much in here. It is a dungeon after all. And there it is. Joel's Swamp complete. It's time to move on to another biome. And that of course is the Birch Boy biome. As you can see here we are carving out the edge of the border of this biome. The actual biome itself has obviously got a little bit of up and down. It's not too lumpy and here's my reaction when seeing it. Yes, very nice. And then of course I added in some more border around the edge because we just want to maintain that look and keep this thing looking real nice. And here's what a normal birch tree looks like. Guess what? It's boring. But we're going to use it a few times anyway because we are lazy. But I've also gone and made my own custom birch tree here as well. We're going to place around a mix of the two. So here's a little time lapse of me placing all these trees down. It's not that interesting. However, it is quite satisfying to watch all those little baby saplings grow into beautiful trees. Teamtrees.org. Ah, lovely dense forest. Let's add our first structure to it. And that structure is the modded house. I chose this because I build modded houses all the time and I thought, let's add one to my dimension and what of a better place than the birch forest, the birch boy biome. So I built this birch house here with an andesite roof. I used some custom windows from the DecoCraft mod and inside I decorated it with everything you get in all these mods. The kitchen, the tables, the beds, the chairs, the desks, you name it, I put it in. And I also added loads of flowers around it as well to make it stand out. Pretty simple looking house, nothing too crazy inside. We got the kitchen area straight away, looking very nice. We've got a little crafting and furnace area here, some chests, the table, a grandfather clock, because you need a grandfather clock. Up the stairs, we've got our bedroom up here, little wardrobe, armor stand, bedside tables, little chair with some bookshelves for reading. And then we got our desk with a computer up here, which we can use to go on Mine Bay. It does what it says on the table. In, it's a modded house. Now for the chicken layer, which we're going to put just here. And at first I was going to build a big chicken, but then I thought, you know what? That's quite obvious. Let's instead build a big egg, because what came first, the chicken or the egg? That's the age old question. However, once I had finished building the eggs, I did build a little mini chicken statue and I placed those all around, although I changed it up a few times. And there is a dungeon underneath as well, which I shall take you to in a second. But first, very quick time lapse of bone mill ground. And here is what you find when you enter the dungeon. So you've got like a little staircase down, then an iron door with a pull a lever open. And inside, of course, lots of chickens. Unfortunately, they're not evil at the moment. They're just regular chickens. But there's a couple of chicken spawners under here and you can just collect eggs, make more chickens. I'll just come and kill them for fun because I'll just keep spawning in. And there you have it, the birch boy biome. Before we move on to the final biome, we're gonna first add in the portal area where we will enter the dimension. So I built this very crazy looking overgrown styled portal using some lime green grass as well. So it's slightly different to the normal grass you see on the right in the birch biome and stuff. And I used the chisel and bricks mod to make that little slimy looking portal. And there you go, I think that looks pretty cool. Very overgrown, kind of fits in with the other biomes as well. Sort of naturally brings them all together. Go dark green to light green to green. And now, we're gonna move on 
to the magical meadow. And as I said earlier, this is going to be a bit more lumpy and bumpy than the other two biomes, so I set off adding in some mountainous region with world edit. I first did the sand, then did the gravel, and then changed them both with world edit to make it look nice and pretty. And look how pretty it is. Very nice indeed. Very lumpy, very bumpy. But we got space for our lake here, and we're going to have the wizard's tower over there, I think. Although I could do the wizard's tower high up somewhere, like over there. We'll decide later. But first up, the Lady of the Lake. I'm going to add in trees afterwards this time. Why, you ask? Because I want to. So building the lake itself is the easy part. I've built many lakes in my life, and this one was no different. I just added a little island in the center of it where the lady is going to go, and that lady is LD Shadow Lady. And I decided to build her as a mermaid upon Lizzie's suggestion, and... I um, can't really build people that much. I try to do my best by like covering the mouth and stuff, but still doesn't look great. Let's go have a look. From far back, it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really nice. You get a bit closer and it's like, mm, it's okay. You get really close and you're like, right, what's going on here? It doesn't look the best, but it's not terrible either. It's not my worst person I've ever built. And there's actually a hidden chest underneath, if I can find it. Ah, yes, here. It's a little hole, right click. And boom, there's a chest in there. That's where the loot would be for the Lady of the Lake. And now we'll move on to the Wizard's Tower. And I didn't want to build a massive structure for the Wizard's Tower. So I just went for a sort of smaller Wizard's Tower, which has an enchanting area at the top. So that if you find this Wizard's Tower, you're lucky. You can enchant some stuff in there, get some level 30 enchants. And there's also some lapis in a chest next to it. Perfect. And I went for some very basic colors for it. And I think it turned out looking all right. It's quite a small and cute little tower here. You go in through the door. There's a ladder up to the top and then you just got this little custom enchanting area where you got some lapis in the chest you can use and an enchanting table and now for the trees we're gonna use some flowering oak saplings which don't look boring however i also made a custom tree because why not? Let's go plant these around the biome. And I did. And I also bone milled everything. So there you have it. That's what my dimension would look like. However, before we end, we need to add mobs, such as a donkey in the swamp biome. Place a load around. Obviously, if this is a real dimension, there'd be special donkeys that dropped special donkey stuff. The birch biome would be full of chickens. They would be the only thing that spawns in in this biome. Lots of chickens everywhere. Lovely. And in the magical biome, to have a lot of llamas. They hang around in packs like so, on top of the cliffs. Very nice. But I'm very happy with this. I think this looks awesome. We got loads of different variants in height, different cool kind of biomes, and a really cool portal in the center for us to enter the biome. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you'd like this to be an actual dimension, then please let me know, because I probably will never make it into one, as I am lazy. Thank you so much for watching, though. Make sure to leave a like and comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.